Eddie's in the mix. Um, connected radio. I'm connected, you connected. It don't matter sooner or later, they gon' respect it. Monday night, six to eight, make you be flexing. You want the magic key? Call me G. She connect, connected radio. I'm connected, you connected. It don't matter sooner or later, they gon' respect it. Monday night, six to eight, make you be flexing. You want the magic key? Call me G. She connected. You know what it is, man. Taco Tuesday Project. Well, let them know who you are and where you're from, sir, first of all. Go by YP, the cult leader of Unseen Asylum, Stockton, California. Uh, been doing this for a while. How long is a while? Ooh, I don't know, 15, 20 years, maybe. Okay. Been, been messing with it for a minute. Okay, since before the 2020, since 20s happened. Since yeah. it's, were you here for the countdown for 1999 when they Hell thought the world was going to end? <laughs> Remember, I remember that? that shit. I was like, having a party at my mom's house. Y2K, that's right. Y2K is what it was called. Yeah, we and was having a party at my mom's house and shit was lit. People like went and got hella water and they didn't know how the computers were going to roll the year from 1999. The part was right when like released the stock and right when midnight hit, something happened. Like, like a big something or like shit shut off for a second. Uh -huh. We're like, oh shit. It really happened. And then like it was fine. Right. <laughs> and we, just, we just kept partying. Matter of fact, Celsius was at the house with us. And we was partying. We was making a song. And this nigga, like, we were sneaking, drinking alcohol and shit. And this nigga got sick and threw up. <laughs> and my other cousin was <laughs> rapping, right? My other cousin was in the, we had like a closet makeshift booth. So I opened the fucking, you know, I'll go in the booth real quick. Like, hey, this nigga in here throwing up. Right. And my cousin at the end of his song, like, ah, this nigga throwing up. And I opened the door. He's like, oh, you he in here? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. He's throwing up in here, right? Like, yeah, nigga, uh, in here. Celsius Smoke Gang, shout out Celsius. Shout out Cuzzo, also has man. new music out right now. As a matter of yes. fact, yes, he uh, does. Me and him gonna do some more, of course, always. So twenty years in the game, Stockton, California. Is that born and raised? I was actually born in uh, Washington, like okay. Spokane, but uh -huh. I, I moved to Stockton when I was like one, two. Would you say that Stockton has influenced your sound? shit california regionally <laughs> so the region has okay i'll say california period like really nwa to a degree and dr dre and all oh that. yes yes because like uh i want to say i was like when i first heard you know growing up i was you know we we're hearing everything we we're hearing colors and dope man and all that but when i heard niggas for life i yeah, was yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yo i want to do this this slap that and like spice one and MCA, just you know, I was listening to all you know the classic, classic West Coast shit. Right. right? It really spoke to me because my sisters are older. They were listening to you know Naughty by Nature and Tribe Called Quest and you know a lot of the East Coast shit, which was dope. But it was like, nigga, we in Cali. <laughs> you right. know you know gotta man? do what we it's do. Different shit going on right. out here. So when we started hearing that shit being talked about and the music, and it was like, yeah, like I got uncles that was 
listening to, you know, a lot of shit that was being sampled back then, you know. Niggas was listening to Zapp and Roger and right. you know what I'm saying? You know, as a kid, you hear that and you're like, What nigga, what's that? Yeah, computer love and all that. Yeah, it's super... more bounce to the ounce. You like it? More bounce. Yes, that shit What's is jumpy, this? jumpy. You so, said... as far as production, was that always your gig, or did you want to be an artist, or how did um, that start? I actually started. My cousins like I probably was 13, 14, and one day they just called me. Hey, nigga, we rapping. You gonna produce? <laughs> Pull up. We we called explicit. You gonna be the producer? I was like, all right, fuck it. And then, you know, I rap for a while. I rap for a long while. It's pretty good, too. <laughs> I got okay. some shit floating around out okay. there. But um, I've always just really liked producing, though. Like, I really just liked it. I felt like it was like like you making magic. You know, Something that you can something. control, right. Yeah, yeah. you just creating it right there on the spot. Like, I mean, you know, rapping and, and putting words together is definitely a gift, of course. But there's something about doing that music it's it's different you know right saying? arranging and or i'm sure like lane chords and lane samples and um we were just at q's studio the other night q made the beat nice and he's just such a legendary guy you know and he's so like humble so to watch him make beats live is insane i've been i've seen chicken hill i've seen a lot of beat makers make make beats live at chicken hill herman Ada, i've watched him do live beats oh. Um, I haven't heard been with you yet when you made a live beat, but oh, I would yeah, love it's, to. It's kind of lit. I do uh, the stuff I did for Seuss. Everything we do is on the spot. Got you. Everything. He's always like, like we we're talking about doing a seven song project, and I was like, man, I can start making the joints this and that. And he was like, man, we gotta, we gotta do how we do it, man. <laughs> I gotta come sit in, and we right. gotta get down on the spot. I was like, I ain't got no problem with that. Caked Up, one Let's of my very that. favorite people. Seuss from Caked Up is definitely yeah, I fuck with Seuss. Shout out Seuss. I super fuck with grinder, Seuss. Stockton as well. Feezy YF, another guy out of Stockton. I, I fuck, fuck with him too. I just shot him something maybe a month ago. Feezy, yeah. Shot Feezy. Him a slapper, slapper. Feezy's magic. Yeah, I fuck um, with him. I, I like that nigga, man. B Love is also female out of Stockton. Hey. Uh, Vishayla was here. She came from your, you know, your referral, your camp. You got a large camp, basically. <laughs> Unseen Asylum is also a, the cult leader is because you are the leader of the cult. There's a True. cult, correct? <laughs> I know you guys True. like to drink a lot at the cult. Tiger Head yeah. says, say, what's up? What's up, Tiger? Hey. That's another dope producer right there. Hey, what's going on? So um, the YP, the cult leader, when the music stopped for you, the rapping, the production started, um, what would you say your most memorable production is to date? Ooh. Shit, that's a that's a really good question. Well, that's um, what I'm here for, sir. I like to get it going. I'm gonna say when we did period. That's with cause, artist Haiti, baby. Yes, because that was just it was just a moment. Like I've met Haiti prior to that, and we were talking about working before that, but we were just our schedules were just crazy. I had a normal job and shit. Right. So pretty much I told him, like, hey, when I got time, bro, I'm gonna hit you for sure, for sure. He's like, all right, for sure. So finally I quit. And then he's the first person job. I called. Yeah, yeah. Quit the normal job. He's the first person I called. He was like, "Yo, oh, for sure." Then you know, he pulls up. You know, we we, we talked for a minute. Uh, pretty much where he was going, he just wasn't feeling where he was recording at. He was like, "Man, I want to do different shit. I want to get wilder. I want to start experimenting. I want to dance. I want to sing." I was like, "Fuck it, you can do all that here. Don't worry about it." Yeah. Let's. So then, right after that, he's like, "All right, what are we doing? Let's cook." And then made the beat right there on the spot like i usually do and then um he just started you know doing his thing he just started doing his thing like like i don't want to say he doesn't write but he don't it's more of a freestyle i don't know if he really writes yeah <laughs> well you I'll, can tell from that freestyle he did he's very creative like, like naturally he, he wrote it down but then he was like not even looking at it i was tripping i was like did you write that and he was just Zoning out. I was like, all right, fuck it. Let's Sounds kind of like his day of everyday life, though, you know, yeah. say something so you get packed the fuck out. Yep. You know, like, that's that's and Haiti. So, right when we got done, like, you know, we're, we're messing with it a little bit, doing the drops and shit. We're listening to it. We're kind of both looking at each other like, bro, <laughs> bro come come back. What are you doing tomorrow? Come tomorrow. He's like, all right. And then we just started making a string of shit. You know what I'm saying? So that was definitely one of the most memorable one of yeah definitely one of them i know i got some more rattle in my brain what's the biggest three pet peeves of artists for you as a producer what do you hate the most what do i hate yeah Ooh. um <laughs> wanting to freestyle you're not a freestyler okay 
So you're like, I'm gonna freestyle a song, and then like it's just a waste. You just waste your time. Right. It's like, dude, just just write it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, being on time. Definitely being on time, and I really dislike when motherfuckers bring just extra people to the studio. Yes. And nobody's doing nothing. Right, waste the space. Like that's, I mean, I feel it. You gotta have your entourage, but man, just you know, I like to work when we in there. Like it's, that's the yeah, now. that's what they're there for. Like it, it's more productive. Everybody here is working on, you know, what I'm saying this shit. Like, right. When, uh, Snoop did Doggy Style. You know, I watch I watched so many interviews. So he was like, when they did Doggy Style, everybody that's on that album was there every day. But everybody was there for a reason. So then, you know, they're doing something. Hey, Daz, get on this. Right. Hey. Uh, they uh, were There was a purpose. The, yeah, yeah, the female that sang on all, like, it's like one female that sang over the whole album. Yes, She's yes. She's just there every day. Hey, we need vocals on Right, this. right. Jump on this. Or, hey, we need another voice right here. So it was like everybody was there to do something. Niggas weren't just chilling. You right, know what I'm right. There was a purpose. And I get that. And I agree with you on that. It seems like you're kind of, well, when you're a professional producer, it is time <laughs> to work. You know, it's time to work. It's like, you can Definitely. show them that gold record or tell them <laughs> about it and be like, do you want one of these? Cause the guy that got this worked when he came in here hey, and he came works. solo, you know, like seriously work. So shout like, out to Haiti. I still want to interview Haiti, you for man. sure. That um, guy is working. Like that's all he does is work. I know. I see I it. Respect it. And it's a it's a social media world now, so people get to see you work. And it, it's a shame because the people that don't work, it makes you feel even shittier. It's like that <laughs> should make you want to go work harder because all these people are working in front of you and they're going to get there first. And you ain't, you're going to be back behind at the gate waiting to get in line. Like the other night we were working and, you know, it came from like five to like maybe like eight or nine. And we knocked a couple of joints out. We started mixing a couple of records. And then... um you know, I was like, you know, what you, what you about to do tonight? He was like, man, I'm about to go to the crib, work out. <laughs> I was like, Damn, it's Saturday, bro. Savage, right. <laughs> do you ever rest? Like, it's Saturday, bro. Go home and relax. He's like, nah, bro, I got I to gotta stay on it's it. It's a regimen, and you got to stay on it. That's yeah, right. Yeah, so he was just, that dude just works. Like, that. that's where he's at, where he's at. He's, he's a workaholic. I was like, bro, you going to. I knew that when I met him, though. I was just like, bro, like, keep doing that. You going to. Everything happens for a reason, though. Like, y'all found each other for a reason. So that that chemistry made history. You know, you understand what I mean? Like, that will always be a moment in history yeah, made. Definitely. And I think that's very – I'm proud of you for that. You know, like, I'm proud – everybody should be. You're our people. You know, you're hey. our region of producers. So we should yeah. be very – we should celebrate this man. Um, let's talk do. about the taco project, and we'll go into the taco hey, de pollo, the chicken taco Tuesday. song. Um, because <laughs> Eddie, my DJ, is very privy to these Taco Tuesday joints and uh, out, like collabs because he he DJs for Taco Tuesdays. Hey, so, now you're gonna have something to play for Taco Tuesday, right? I'm telling you, watch when you hear these joints, you're gonna be like, wait a minute, these is all, and they all named after tacos. What made you do that? What's the background on that? So Taco Tuesday came about, um, oh, I could say this, I'm a COVID survivor. Oh, what? So I so caught you, COVID. You got it, yeah. Yeah, it was like July, around the 4th of July. So I was you immediately like, like yeah. I got to shut the studio down, can't nobody come, it's bad, you know, quarantining. So I was quarantining, and I was like, I got to do some. I got to do something. I can't just sit here. Right, you're bored. Because I was like, my sessions, I had sessions every day, so I was busy, but... Once I got sick, I was like, all right, <laughs> shut this down. Let me quarantine. Let me make sure everything's cool before I do anything else. So while I was quarantined. I was like, you know what? I need to make a, I need to do a beat tape or something. Fuck it. Why not? So I was chilling, listening to music. I was on YouTube and I went down a Tupac rabbit hole. Oh, and yeah, yeah. I was listening to all the unreleased Tupac shit, though. You know, you remember after they passed and they had like Machiavelli 2, 3, like all the way to 7. I was bumping those. And I came across this song. And it had this Latin vibe on it. And I was like, damn, this shit, I don't even remember hearing this. Like, this slap. And I was like, man, I should make a whole tape like this. And I was like, fuck it, why not? Did yeah. I just turn my shit on? I made like three of the beats that night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then I, like, it only took like two, three days to make the beats. Everything else was like, all right. And then I came with the title. I was thinking of something. Like, I was just brainstorming. I was like, Baja Cali. Or... I was trying to think of something. And I was talking to my dude, Roots. Shout out, Roots. And I was talking to him about it. And I played him at one of the records. He was like, bro, on the cover, it should be a, a tapatio. It should be the hot sauce. Yeah. I was like, what? Mask on. And I was like, bro, I said, if I call it, if I got that, I got to call it Taco Tuesday. And he was like, bro. As soon as he said that, I was like, all right, that, it, it's a bet. 
called my boy Killer Tour. Shout out Killer Tour. I was like, hey, bro, I need a cover. He's like, I'll have it done by tomorrow. So he did he did dope ass cover real quick. And then yeah, I just pretty much pushed out so I could market it. Shout out that. But I made it like really, really fast. Like Taco really fast. Tuesday. This is Unseen Asylum right here. YP the cult leader. Make sure you go tap in on him. Hey. We're gonna listen to Taco de Pollo. Taco de Pollo. Aye! It's your girl. Sorry, that's that's what I do I'm here. Take over. <laughs> yeah, I'm the motherfucking multitasker. So that was that taco de pollo. Say it taco right. Taco de pollo. Say it right. There we go. Um, I can't guess the sample because I'm gonna be wrong. So I want you to tell me the sample. Um, it's actually a sample from Blood In Blood Out. It's the movie. <laughs> the movie. Crazy. I was like, fuck it. I was gonna sample some American me shit, but I watched it like while I was sick, and I was like, this movie's fucking terrible. Right, it is. Like watching it now, it's like this movie is terrible. I'm like, no wonder a couple people got killed after this shit came out. Did you hear? Um, do you hear things and think this is a sample? Yeah. Um, that one I just looked for. It. I was like, Taco Tuesday. I got to sample something. And I was like, fuck it. Looked up Blood In, Blood Out. And I just looked at the soundtrack and I just listened to a couple of the tracks and I was like, that's it. Yeah. I like I remember the scene because I was like, I know exactly what scene this is. I gotta. Yep, I'm yanking this. Well, we're going to um, end with the last one because we wanted to talk about it. It was special, but we kind of keep these interviews short and sweet now because the public's eyes and ears is fucking <laughs> there. It's literally like two seconds of fucking attention span. So is there anyone right now you want to thank, shout out, anything you want to promote? Um, how do they find um, you and how do they find you if they want to work with you? Do you have like a beat page or a website? I do have a beat page. I have a website, though. You go to unseenasylum.com. Everything's on there. All the contacts are on there. There's a beat store on there. I got to update it so you could actually get the Taco Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? But Taco Tuesday is available on all streaming platforms. Go to Spotify specifically if you can. You know what I'm saying? It's on YouTube. It's on It's on everything. Uh, shout out my boy Smooth and Ye Ye for making the hilarious intro on there. It's hilarious. Uh, shout out Sus, you know what I'm saying? Which I was going to tell you that that's the only artist I got on there. Oh, really? Yeah, she's the only, she got a song on there. The story of that song, I'll tell it real fast. It's, it's hilarious. We were shooting the, the promo video for it and she pulled up and my neighbor, she had, my neighbor had company and the comp, they were acting weird. So like, sis jumped out like, oh no, like I guess she said something crazy to sis. So sis jumped out like, what's cracking? Right, let's get it I was it like, in. oh shit, it's about to go down. <laughs> right. So I had just bought a new piece of gear that came when I was sick. So I was like, sis, I ain't even got a chance to try to test this shit out yet. Can you can you come and Lay test something. the shit for me? Right. She's like, yeah. So she get in there. I put one of the beats on from the tape. She's like, yep, I'll, I'll murder this one. I was like, cool. And she went in there and just freestyled and just started going crazy. I was like, oh, 
And I was like, sis, I'm using it. Fuck it. I'm going to put that <laughs> shit on the tape. <laughs> I'm going to put this on the tape. She was like, all right, good looking, bro. I was like, yeah, because I, I just bought like something for my mic chain. Like I spent like four grand on this new piece. And I was right. like, I'm trying to test it myself and go back and forth. I'm like, this ain't working. I tried to, hey, kids, come in here. And I was like, no, nah, I need somebody to really rap on this right, shit. Right, so right, right. She was there. I was like, sis, what's up? Um, can you uh, come in here and bless this for me? She was like, yeah, like we were just originally just going to test it out. And then she was going crazy. And I was like, hey, I'm about to press record. <laughs> shit sounds dope. So I'm going to press record. And she was like, fuck it, let's go. Any uh, suggestion out there for uh, upcoming producers or artists? Uh, keep working. Keep working. Trust your sound. Don't sign nothing with nobody. Uh, get a publishing admin. Track all your money. Right. Um, it's, two, it's 2020, bro. Like, you don't need nobody anymore. Like, <laughs> you can get your own distribution. Uh, you know, you publish your own shit. Put out beat tapes. That's what I'm starting to get on. You start building your own catalog. You don't have to wait and depend to work with artists. Get placements, though, but you could do so much just by yourself now. You know what I'm saying? Get you a little team. But just keep working. That's the main thing. Stay consistent. Keep putting shit out. You know, link up with guys. Uh, don't be scared to work with your young guys. You know what I'm right. saying? Especially if you get a little older like myself. <laughs> right. Pass the baton. You know, work with the young dudes, man. Game like, them up. Yeah, let, let them, you know, run the show. We getting older. Fall back. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, just let them have the limelight. Like I love, I got a lot of young guys out in my city. Like they running shit now. Mm -hmm. I get, I get to chill. <laughs> I get to fall back right. in the background. I'm like, cool. You know, it's like, it's like planting seeds and just you watch it grow. That's lit. It's, What's it's a the um, gold record producer's favorite drink at Starbucks or uh, Dutch Brothers? <laughs> at Starbucks, I don't never really drink Starbucks, but I drink the the strawberry frappuccino. <laughs> okay. You want a gold record? Get a strawberry frap. God damn it, and work. <laughs> Bring some fucking whiskey. That's what I drink. And work. Yes. And bring work. some whiskey. Though. Bring some, some whiskey. Some good YP whiskey. the cult leader. Unseen asylum. Motherfucking in the building. Go get that taco project. That shit has a Tapatio cover. You can't miss it. Um, super fire too. He's been working for decades, y'all, and he ain't going nowhere. I'm sure the future is nothing but up for YP. Oh, yeah. I'm about so, to be in. Woo, we would love to debut <laughs> some of this stuff when you get to H-Town. We'll zoom you oh, in. Oh, man. For sure. Cause, ooh, it's about to be super lit when i get out there well we can we can travel just send for us <laughs> yeah pull up man <laughs> pull up i'll bring the studio out Ooh, man it's we fine. will exit with that last song yeah you can do that we'll do hey, what, we'll do them play. together maybe we're gonna play two yeah. okay i'm special and then we'll exit it after that so <laughs> we got my Bilotti in the building too y'all get a root beat hey in the building, all. make sure i introduce you guys too Pull up is the third one. It's your.